Hey YouTube, welcome back. Tonight we're making balsamic mango pork chops paired with cheesy bread balls. This meal combines the right amount of sweet and savory flavors. I promise you this is one meal you're not gonna wanna miss. Let's get ready to feast. Now it's time to make our pork chops. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is season our pork chops with salt and pepper, then add some oil to a cast iron and get it nice and hot. Now that we've got our oil nice and hot, we're going to add our pork chops and get a nice sear on them. Look at that amazing crust. While our pork chops finish cooking, we're going to make our sauce. We're going to add our balsamic vinegar and some honey. I chose to use hot honey today and then finish it off with some oregano. We're gonna whisk it all together and then pour it over the top of our pork chop. Let it cook down for a few minutes, and then we're going to add our mangoes and braise them in the oven until we start seeing a little bit of char. Got a little bit of help from my wife here. We're gonna add some basil leaves, top with some crushed red peppers, and then add some feta. Damn, that looks tasty. Next up, we're gonna make our cheesy bread balls. These golden cheesy bites are gonna be the perfect complement to our savory pork chops. We're gonna start by adding all of our ingredients to a blender. First, we're gonna add our tapioca flour, then our olive oil, then our milk, then our feta cheese, and lastly, our two eggs. Now that we've added all our ingredients to the blender, we are going to blend until smooth. Now that our batter's done, we're going to take some cooking spray and spray in our muffin pan and then equally distribute the batter. Now that we've distributed our bread batter evenly, we're going to bake it in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. The bread balls turned out cheesy and fluffy, just like we wanted. Everything turned out great, it's time to dig in. If you enjoyed this video from me, go ahead and check out this video right here where I show you one of my all-time favorites, the bacon corn pizza. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.